bit uh, from the perspective of technology, fintech and ag tech. What movements do you see happening in those particular sectors in Brazil? And what is the future for those two specifically in Brazil? I think the fintech uh, revolution has been a uh, phenomenal revolution for the country because, and this has been driven not just by technology, but also by very positive government regulation readjustments, let's say. Uh, the government has allowed uh, for institutions, that non-banking institutions, to operate as banks. And this is a, a process that now, if you and I want to open a fintech, it's a very straightforward, easy process. And what I believe is that we will see lots and lots of solutions that are fintech related, either through credit or through uh, new banking solutions or uh, uh, through credit uh, cards, we will see this happen all across the different sectors in the consumer space also. So you might see retailers having more of their uh, fintechs, uh, their internal fintechs, and there's a lot of white label fintech solutions uh, in the country nowadays. And I think this is uh, something that's only at the tip, only, only at the start. Mm -hmm. We still have a very big percentage of the population that does not have a bank account. And I think those are going to be uh, uh, more and more included into the national uh, economy. Mm -hmm. In regards to agriculture, I believe that Brazil is in a multi-decade trend that won't change. This is related to food security. The world needs to produce more proteins. There is a multiplier effect over grains. Every kilo of beef uh, takes up 10 to 12 kilos of grains. Every kilo of poultry takes five to seven kilos of grains. When we look uh, related to fuel that use, uh, in the, for instance, in the US, uh, it uses corn base. So there's also a demand for biofuels that are using uh, grains for that. So what we will see is more and more is the growth of production of grains. And Brazil is uh, probably still the number one ideal place for you to do agriculture in large scale. Uh, it, there's a lot of availability of land. There's already infrastructure there. All the major global players are ready in the country. So you're able to take the products uh, internationally. Land price is very uh, affordable still. So I think we will see agriculture still kind of a pushing Brazil towards this uh, larger position in the world. We've seen some projections. There is an interesting projection from Pricewaterhouse that shows that Brazil is going to be the fifth uh, largest country from a GDP standpoint in a couple of decades. And most of that is driven by this agriculture tsunami that uh, mm -hmm. Brazil is able to bring to the world.